this video I'm going 9 lazy corps, but this is the usual 6 lazy corps that you're gonna play around. I mean, there's a lot of different things you can do with lazy corps. You can go like duelist, you can go maybe a short shot route, you can go more the brawler. I mean, there's a lot of stuff to do in lazy corps, so it's a really fun trait. As well as it's just performing very well this patch, since you know, a lot of the good stuff got nerfed, as well as I think the laser corpse got buffed a bit, if I'm not mistaken, in this new patch. So, yeah, obviously, you so you need two emblems, right? If I'm not mistaken, to play nine laser corpse. So, obviously, we can't play it every game, but just going uh, six laser corpse and then just playing better units is also a very nice play. I mean, if you're gonna play 9 Lace Corps, you're gonna have to play some pretty shite units. So, I guess that's the downside, but you will just have infinite drones, because they get like 2 drones, and boom, that's a gold collector right there. So that's some lovely stuff getting in the early game as the first augment, since we're just gonna be able to snowball that economy with uh, our Ash right here. So she got the death blade as well, and thank you all the new subs, I appreciate you. So you see Ash there just already getting one gold, so that gold generation is just gonna snowball. Like getting a gold collector is so good if you get it this early. Obviously late game is not as valuable, but you can get it as the first augment. That's so broken. And boom, look at that gold. Especially with uh, laser corpse. It's kinda nice because, you know, the drones shoot periodically, so they hit the unit and execute them if Ash doesn't uh, reach the threshold, so we just get a lot more executions and uh, that means a lot more money. So let's see what we want here. Uh, probably like a bow or a tank item. Let's see what we get. I mean, we can just go for glove as well, and uh, we can build uh, guard breakers just so we get free items on uh, Ash. Everything for that uh, money generation is stack Ash and let her go crazy. And late game, we can just uh, move the items into Zed. So, yeah, that looks like a pretty good plan. You see that drone there is executing them broken if I do say so myself so now we found a replacement Renekton so now we can sell those dudes and just build a guard breaker I started really like liking guard breaker when it got released I was like never building it because it was, it was like giving AP and AD and not that much unit scale well with both but then I just started to use like uh, meta TFT <laughs> and uh, yeah, now I've just realized that Guard Breaker is pretty broken. Just of the stats, I mean stats do not lie. And you know, you can in the late game you can proc it like every time or like every fight. Like everybody has shields I feel like. So yeah. I do like Guard Breaker, especially if you have like IE, so you get that crit bonus. So now we got 50 there, so we have some pretty good money generation. So we're just gonna level up here to try to keep our win streak. But this man looks pretty strong, so. No, I think we're good. We got this. Maybe? Okay. It seems like we're not getting through this beefy front line. Ooh. Yeah, the defender against my Ash. It's pretty... Pretty tough. So I think we're gonna lose the win streak here. Feels bad. Well, it's all good. Ooh, and you know what augment I'm picking right here? Yeah, the laser corps. Lovely stuff right there. So we're not gonna get that much value from it now. I mean, we can't play la six laser corps already, but 
In due time, my friends. We'll just have to wait a bit and then the value will kick in. Once we have five laser corp units, we're just gonna insta put in that five. And it gets us closer to the dream of, you know, the nine laser corps. So that's what we're aiming for. And that's a Zoe. We can pick that up. Prepare for a potential set, you know. It's only 5% chance, but who knows, maybe we get one and then we'll be happy that we had a Zoe. Oh, I feel like uh, Blitzcrank is so tanky for a wine cost. I think he got buffed as well. Maybe I'm just uh, overanalyzing Blitz. But I feel like he's so tanky. What do we have here? Ooh, look at that Senna, guys. Look at that Senna. We really want that Senna. Please? That's a lot of spatulas, though. Like, I'm pretty lucky to have this carousel. Because I need a Lace Corpse Bat. Which is built by Sword, I believe. So it's a buildable emblem. And we just got a carousel with literally three spats i mean there's some games where just everything fall into place and yeah i guess this is one of those games oh a beautiful yas ultra right there a real mastery 5 mid diff right there it seems like it's not enough though our bot lane ash is just jumping so we're gonna lose here ff15 feels bad Oh, that's a Sejuani, so how many Lazy Corps are we at? Yeah, we're at 6 now, right? Boom, there we have it. So that's a big spike, right? We're just gonna put in a Samira for the sure shot. Seems good. Gonna put a tank item on Sedge. So I actually didn't know this before. I only thought Laser Corpse procs on Auto, but apparently it procs on being hit as well. So if you just have a beefy like Sejuani or something, she's gonna proc a lot of drones. So, yeah, pretty fun. And that's a two star right there. Nice, nice. So, what do we really want? I mean, just any tankiness right now. I feel like we have the damage. Uh, we can get some, like, Samira items, I suppose. That wouldn't be terrible. That's a Su Zoe. Zoe. <laughs> Zoe 2 star. Sweet. Yeah, you know me, guys. Oh, I thought I was gonna cycle level. Never mind. I guess I don't know myself. I'm getting some flashbacks right now. Oh, the Yumi comp, man. Because this game was recorded in the last patch. And now the Yumi comp sucks. As far as I know. But yeah. Here we're still seeing that Yumi. Oof. Not okay. Yes, there is the cycle level. Oh, and the Yax comp as well. Yeah, this patch was kinda crazy, the last one. You see Yax and Yumi every game. Now there's like Ace every game and Misfortune Meta, so yeah, the meta shifted a bit. Let's see if we can get through this Yax. Yeah, I think we're actually gonna be able to kill him with all the drones. Let's see. Yeah, we got it, barely. And Syndra, you're dead. So another Senna. I mean, you can free star that, but... Alright, let's go fast. Nine, we just need to level up. Ooh, put in all our units, you know. So let's see. Is the... War cost backline better than the one cost? No. Ash is broken. The 
Let's see what we want here. Ooh, we really need a sword. So if we get that Sejuani, that's so big. Oh, please, no. That was our laser core emblem. Ooh, that's kind of tough. We really need that Batman. Without it, we're kind of doomed, to be honest. I'm just gonna build a spark here. If I'm not wrong, laser core drones, they do magic damage. So having like a Sejuani in the front line, just removing MR, it's gonna let all the drones just do a lot of more damage. So that seemed pretty broken to me. Oh, finally I said so. Bye bye Ash. You know, you were a good carry, but it's time for you to go, my friend. And it's time to bring in the new recruit here. Set into action. So let's just change all those items. I still like, uh, subconsciously think that the death blade scales of uh, like the champions or units uh, store level, but obviously they changed that. But it's still like integrated in my mind. Oh, come on, look at that Aphelios. Especially 1 HP, and again? Ah, oh, come on, man. What's that? Ooh, a Sejuani? Nice. We like that. So I think we're probably gonna cycle level soon. Just like, what are we even going to put in? Like, we're to two star. We're gonna two star Sejuani, we're gonna two star Zed, but other than that, we have like everything two star, so might as well use level and try to get that uh, nine lace corpse in, find that Mordekaiser. And here I just decided to go for that War Mogs. We just need to stay alive for our drones to finish them off. And that feels good, just assassinating a Yumi player. Nice. Ooh. But that uh, GP though, you see the secret carry? Almost beating my Zed. That was kinda rough. But we're still losing to the Galio. Feels bad man. It's not even Yumi carry, it was Galio carry. Ooh, that's a nice shot there though. So now we have the two star Zed. And we got a Ganna here, we can play that temporarily, just get some more beefiness. And uh, yeah, let's not talk about the attack room, guys. You haven't seen anything, that didn't happen, alright? Said that totally got on the hack room there. Yeah. That did not happen. Oh, what a beautiful Aphilos suit, though. I don't think it's enough, though. Yeah, this was probably a win if I just uh, got my hacker rim. Imagine said just getting to the backline there. Ooh, finally we got it. The Mordekaiser. And uh, the Ash as well. So, yeah. Let's see it, guys. Boom. Wait, what am I missing? There we go. Boom. The nice. The nine. Laser corp right there. Finally. It was really lucky that we got that Ash. Imagine we just rolled and we didn't find the Ash. That's the reason we lost. That would be kind of a oof moment. So let's see here. Who wins the brawl? Zed or Yax? Zed won that. Yeah, look at all those drones. Hopefully we get that like scene where we have all the drones on one backline carry. That's like really fun to see when all the drones get stacked up. Because at 9 lace corps you get double the drones as well, so... Let's say you have 9 lace corps units, you actually get... Uh, 18 drones. Yeah. And a broken. Let's see here. Is my scouting good? Oh, I actually managed to out there. Yes, Ox Force though, so maybe he survived. Oh, the Mordek has really came in lots right here. Alright, yeah, we're just too strong right now. That's really tempting, like 
I really wanna play that Yana, but to play Yana we have to drop Zoe. And maybe that's the play, I don't know. That's the like awkward thing about playing full into like a 9 trade, is that when you get like a 2 star legendary, it feels really bad not playing it. I mean I guess I could go down to 6 laser corps and just play better units to switch out like Ash and stuff, but yeah, that's not as works. Just going nine lace corp. That's uh, that's the play. So let's see what the armory has to offer. Do we even want here like a Philos item? I suppose. I wouldn't mind like a Spursodian or something, just to make a Philos cast his stun gun. Oh, it's the legendary one. Oh, I remember this. So yeah, I took the rocket here, and I didn't know this was a thing. Apparently if you take it before the round start, it doesn't go into the new arena. So here I'm just playing without my Orn item, so that's kind of rough. But hey, who needs an Orn item? We're just dominating this dude anyhow so yeah we didn't even need it so now we still have the rocket grab to make a rat play and here i decided just to put it on mord because i wanted the tank stats on him that was a pretty nice yasu fit. yeah we won the fight anyhow so that's good so let's see. Oh, this was such a rat play. Like, I still feel bad. Like, this guy I was facing was a pretty nice dude, you know. But I just decided... I would put my Z in the left. And then I last second switch it to the right. But I had my Blitz hook on the right. So he didn't think about it. Because he was watching my Z. So then he just got hooked. So I was... Yeah, I felt, felt pretty bad about that one. But uh, he took it well, you know. We said well played and... He said no, and I said I made a rat play. I mean, if you're watching this, sorry mate. Sometimes you gotta become the rat win, you know. Oh, maybe this head can get straight onto the Talia here. Oh, that's a bramble though, on my head. Yeah, it kind of stopped him in his tracks. But it's all good, we still won it. As long as we have our drones. Oh, it was actually close. I almost thought I was gonna lose there for a second. But nice, nah, all good. Now he's gonna do a bit of a roll down here. I'm gonna hit that Z3 star, come on. Anytime now. Oh, we're actually at. Ooh, actually at 8 cells right now, so we might actually hit it. I think that's gonna be like the deal breaker in this fight. If we hit the 3 star Z or not. Because, I mean, the fights are kind of close. But if we hit the Z, I think we're gonna win this. Oh, come on, get stun off. Uh, yeah, like, we're actually losing here. I thought, like, this was a for sure win. Apparently not. Oh, we just need one more Z. Too early we hit that, right? Surely. Yeah, there's no way we don't hit the Z. Yeah. Really. Let's see what we get here. Uh, I mean, let's just take some damage. Why not? I think that was mus was a mistake. I think you should have kept the stun gun, to be honest. Wait, I just... Oh, never mind. We already have a two-star Aphilus. <laughs> Oh, come on, Sed, where are you, buddy? Sed? Huh? This mortal guy, man. Let's see if we win this, though. Looking pretty close. Oh, now we're doomed. Anyhow, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe for more TFTs at 8 content. And leave a like, I appreciate it. Helps me out on YouTube. 
Have a great one, everybody. Peace out.